Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the signum or sine function denoted by SGN is defined by signum of x is equal to negative 1 if x is less than 0, it's equal to 0 if x is equal to 0, and it's equal to 1 if x is greater than 0. So first we're asked to sketch the graph of this function. And we can see that 1 and negative 1, if we're less than 0, we have a value of negative 1. At 0, it equals 0. And greater than 0, it's equal to 1. So that's just a simple graph of the function. And in part b, we're asked to find the values of these limits. So first, the limit as the function approaches 0 from the right. So we're approaching 0, and we're doing it at a value of 1. So this is just equal to 1. Meanwhile, if we're approaching from the left, we're approaching here, we're approaching from a value of negative 1. And since the limit from the left and the right do not equal each other, because 1 doesn't equal negative 1, the limit as it approaches 0 in general, d and e, does not exist. However, the limit of the absolute value of this function does exist, because the limit um, as x approaches 0 from the right, the absolute value of 1 equals the absolute value of the limit from the left, negative 1, because 1 equals 1. Right? They have the same absolute value, therefore the limit of the absolute value is equal to 1. Right? You can see this by graphing the absolute value. Right? Graphing the absolute value of any function is easy. If the value is greater than 0, it stays the same, and if it's less than 0, you reflect it over the axis. So it looks like this, and we would eliminate this. And here you can see very clearly that if this is our new function, as we approach 0, we approach a value of 1. Therefore, the value, the answers in B are 1, negative 1 does not exist, and 1.